I'm Richard Bangs, exploring the ecological nexus between North and South America, this small but potent package of a country, Costa Rica. The people here are on a tear to preserve the extravagant biodiversity of their national field of dreams, and it seems to be working. What is the secret of their success? I'm off to find out as a traversal land often cited as a green beacon to the planet in a place that two recent international studies proclaimed the happiest country on Earth. Costa Rica is a place of rivers wild to get to the sea mountains that speak with fire, and rainforests that obey no rules. It has more species of animals and plants than the United States and Canada combined. An ethnically diverse democracy, Costa Rica has literacy rates and health care comparable to the most developed countries in the world. It's abolished its military and enjoyed greater peace and political stability than all of its neighbors. But what's brought me back to Costa Rica so many times over the years is a sense of well-being I've felt in few countries on Earth. So where does this go? Oh, it's over that way. Oh, gracias. Pura vida. <laughs> Pura vida. It's a phrase I've been hearing ever since I came to Costa Rica years ago. At some point I realized that I've heard it everywhere throughout the country, uttered by everybody from guides to park rangers to bus drivers, even bureaucrats. But until recently, I never really considered what Pura vida meant. I know that literally it means pure life, but does it go deeper? Could it in some way be a clue to the roots of Costa Rica's exceptionalism? Here, endless natural wonders rouse the faculties and excite the soul. But what I find most remarkable is the sensitivity the people have to their surroundings. Costa Ricans have set aside one quarter of their land as national parks and protected areas. How did they manage this when so many in other countries have stood by where their natural wonders were degraded or destroyed? How did Costa Ricans fend off the miners, loggers, farmers, burners, developers, and others who felled and flattened rainforests around the world? How did they trick time? Corcovado is the Ark of Latin America. It holds a mind-bending amount of ecological variety. National Geographic called it the most biologically intense place on Earth. Corcovado's profusion of wildlife thrives on an equally staggering range of vegetation, including at least four different kinds of forests, encompassing some 500 species of trees. It seems a place to grasp the mystery that breathes behind things. Like happiness, is Pura Vida a butterfly which, when pursued, is always beyond the grasp? But if we sit down quietly, may it alight upon us?